how to use the blade tool to manage and edit clips that we bring into our, um, our timeline. Uh, in the last tutorial, we took a look at how to create the title slides as well as um, creating the title using the text boxes, so on and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to take a look at today, um, we'll piggyback a little bit on uh, what we learned in the last tutorial around title slides, uh, transitions, ed slides, and importing some media. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to import some clips for us to play around with in um, our timeline. So we can go to the import, import media, and we can find some video for us to get in there and play around with. So we'll import that one there. And you have your trim tool, trimming the clips, position tool, range selection, blade, zoom, and hand. Uh, we're going to play around with blade a little bit today. So click on the blade tool and you'll notice it turns into um, a, little, a little razor blade. When it's red, on the blade down into the clip, you can notice it turns black. And there's a little line that follows along the clip, whereas up here it's red and you have the full line. I'm just going to lower the volume on this clip a little bit. Down to there. Come back up and get the blade tool again. Now something that uh, I tend to notice when I'm doing screencasts and such is how the level of uh, volume in audio, um, I try to find uh, cuts there in order to kind of make my clip shorter in my screencast. So if I actually come back up and bring my volume up, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So up here, I'm, I want to take this part out because I'm not talking here and you can't hear anything. So if I hit play, you'll notice it's silent until... Hello and welcome right there. to the world. So I want to make sure I come in, make sure I'm down here where it's black, and I come right up to where that first audio piece spikes, and all I do is I click. And as you can see now, it's created two distinct clips. There's one here, and then there's a whole clip here. Now all I need to do in order to get rid of this clip or this edit is click on it so it's highlighted, click the delete button, and it's gone. Public schools video repository. And I can do that again and again as many times as I wish to come in. I want to clip there. Now I tend to delete my clips the ones I want out as soon as I have the two splices or at least the two clips. More, If I continue to make a bunch of blade marks before I do that, then I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, and it might get confusing for me. So Now if you make a blade cut and you really didn't want to make the blade cut, come up here in the edit and you have undo blade. And as you see, the blade cut disappears, disappears. So now I'm back to the one clip I did here. So highlight it, turns yellow, delete, double click. And there's my transition. And that's pretty much how to use a blade tool in the editing phase. Do one more time. Click on blade. You want to make sure it's not red. Black. And if you notice, the time up here is different. So when it's red right there, we're at 3 minutes and 16 seconds. If I come down when it turns black, it turns to 321. That's because it, the blade is following the time of just this clip itself, not the entire clip that you're making in Final Cut Pro because you've added up here. So if in your editing, say you were paying attention as you were making this video here um, and you, you were maybe 
paying attention to the timestamps within your actual footage and you were taking notes on where you want your edits, make sure that you don't pay attention to the overall length of the of the clip you're you're putting together because you're adding transitions, you're adding title slides, so on and so forth. When you come down and it turns black, this is the length of this initial clip. And if you watch there, it goes from 101 to 107. I took the five seconds out, so it's keeping track of the time of that initial clip. I don't want this anymore. Do my two clips with the blade tool. Go down, get the selecting tool, hit delete, and I can bring, click and drag a transition in there to make it smooth. All right, so that pretty much is that tutorial on how to use the blade tool in editing. Thanks for watching.